you know, it's just like the best analogy I always use is like baseball, right? You're not going to hit a home run every time you step up to the plate. You're not even going to get on base every time you step up to the plate. But, you know, if you never get up there and swing the bat, you have no chance of, of ever, you know, scoring. So yeah, absolutely. you got to give yourself enough opportunity. You know, you got to you got to have enough phone calls. You got to speak to enough people. You got to do enough consultations because not everyone's going to close. That's just a fact when it comes to running a business. So yeah. if you only speak to three people in a month and you need first off, you only speak to three people in a month and you need five clients in a month right out the gate. You know, that's those numbers just don't add up. You're never going to be profitable. But if you need five clients in a month and you only speak to five people, you're probably still not going to be successful as well because not all not everyone's going to sign up. Right. So it's just the numbers thing. You know, tracking it is another important thing. So, you know, you, you touched on a couple of really important things there. Um, I think that first and foremost, tracking your numbers is massive. I can't tell you the amount of times I ask people, how much do you make last month? And they have no idea. Well, I, I don't know. I have to. Yeah, it's insane. Because if you don't know then how could you possibly strategize in your business and know what kind of money you have to allocate towards other things that are going to help you grow your business? Absolutely. Yeah. You're yeah. 100 percent correct. Like I, I keep track on a monthly basis at the end of every month, I run the numbers. Yep. Just to see where I'm at, where yeah. I spent, where, where my money went, which, what part of, uh, what areas of the business the money went into, yep. how much of it was from in-homes, uh, in-home sessions, how much of it was from board and train. Mm -hmm. I know the whole breakdown for each and every month. Yep. It can be a scary, I think the reason is for some people, it's a scary thing to look at when you're not doing a ton of revenue and you're like, bills are coming in. Sometimes you can look at it and go like, ah, oh, man, I really don't want to have to look, look, you know, behind that door and see if there's a monster in that closet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is there something really bad coming down the pipeline? But I, I would encourage everybody, you know, if you're scared to look at your finances, I think that's all the more reason to look at your finances and look at, you know, it is for what it is. And then that way you can, you can move forward from there.